Hello everyone and welcome again to another episode of our new tutorial series The Unity Guide or The Unity Beginner Guide Happy New Year everyone I hope you are having a good start in this new year It's 2020 right now It's been a decade right now since we all learned about those new technology guys because in this decade I mean technology evolved really 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 amazing and of course uh, game development and design and everything just developed so much that we couldn't even uh, learn or keep track of everything that was created I hope you will find what you want to do in this year I hope you will find the will and the resolution to start a new beginning if you are having fun if you're doing good in your last year, I hope you keep doing good. If you had a bad year uh, in 2019, I hope this is a, a new start for you. Just do your best, do whatever you can, never give up and you will always wish what you want guys. Just keep doing your best. And so, let's get started with our episode here. In the last episode we learned guys how we can manipulate the... Uh, the scene here right we learned how we can move inside the scene using our keyboard the w the q the e r t from, from our keyboard right it was really simple guys and in this episode i forget something that we didn't do uh, right for now and it was installing microsoft visual studio because we need to start coding right so right now we are about to finish uh, learning about the interface and we are going to start learning uh, coding and we need an ide so we can code there is an ide inside unity it was mono develop but uh, I think Unity just dropped this uh, mono develop and right now you can install whatever that you want. Of course there is a lot of option but in my opinion and uh, if you follow Brackies or uh, Black Blackthorn Throat, I don't know how to say his name, uh, or Saiku or uh, uh, anyone who do uh, Unity's tutorial, you will find that they are using Visual Studio because Microsoft Visual Studio is really amazing to develop your your uh, your games. So we are going to install a Visual Studio in this episode. So let's go to Safari here, and I want you to go to the uh, Microsoft Visual Studio website. So we are going to make Microsoft, or if I can write Microsoft Visual studio if i can spell this right okay here we are and i want you to go to this edo as you can see we have this one here so guys i want you to go to the visual studio.microsoft.com and you will find this uh website and you will find this window here everything you need to create great app for free guys yes you can download visual studio for free you will have nothing to pay or anything and here you have three options there is the visual studio community here there is the visual studio community for mac and there is the visual studio code so uh, you can use the visual studio code it's an editing and debugging on any ios as it, as it says you can edit anything or uh, everything in this one but if you want something really cool and that have all the features as you can read full featured EDO to code, debug, test and deploy to any platform. We don't need all this stuff. But the Visual uh, Studio community is what you need. So if you are using uh, a window, all you have to do is click this free download here. You click this one for you. If you are using a Mac, you will have to download this one here. And you click this free download. Just log in and download this and install it really really easy guys just <laughs> next next and accept uh, the term of uh, agreement and stuff like this you know the usual guys and you will have visual studio community installed in your mac or in your pc and once you are done with installing visual studio you will have something like this this video studio here right if you are in a mac or pc it doesn't matter because it's the same logo i think so you will have something like this in your computer or in your Mac. Now, what I want you to do is to open Unity. 
now go ahead and open unity and i want you to go here let me switch to unity here i want you to click on the unity one here and you go to preference in preference i want you to find this external tool as you can see there is this external tool here you click external tool and here we have external script editor this means what is the external tool that you are going to be using to edit and create your script to do your coding in my case if i click i will have here a visual studio or i could browse anything i don't have anything other than uh, the visual studio here installed in my mac so i am going to check visual studio and right now it should be just like this let me just close this let me go back to my asset here i will do this just for a test okay that is just for a test i will do a click here and i will create a new folder i will new uh, rename my folder to script if i can write this right okay here we have our folder this is our script folder and inside this folder i will create a new c sharp script I will rename this uh, to test okay because this is just a test for now and so we have this test if I double click on this test here as you can see uh, Visual Studio right now is popping up it means that I'm going to open my script in Visual Studio that is really amazing guys this is a collaboration between uh, you know unity and microsoft and stuff like this to make your life easy guys so you can develop easily and do anything that you want and uh, i will just give it a moment here because when you start uh, microsoft visual studio for the first time it might pop up some uh, updates and stuff like this just go ahead and do the updates and do everything that will ask uh, from you i don't think that i have yes yes i do i do have visual studio community 2019 it is the latest version of uh, the visual studio and because i just updated lately from 2017 to 2019 and if you need to do an update just do it go ahead and do it it's really easy guys and as you can see here we have our first code let me uh, see if i can zoom in yes i can and this is the code that created uh, by default from unity it have this uh, void start in this update we have this unity and have all this stuff here and right now we can see that visual studio is working and everything is cool uh, by the way if you have a wait uh, I mean when you are going to be installing Visual Studio it will ask you if you want a dark theme or whatever you can pick anything that you want in my case I like dark theme so I'm using this this dark theme here you can uh, change it if you want uh, later guys but for me this works very very beautifully so this is Visual Studio guys and we have it installed in our uh, Mac or computer and we can go ahead and start using our first script right so we can do something like debug like this just for fun dot log and let's give it a test let's say hello world <laughs> just for fun guys this is our first script in the game <laughs> let me just close visual studio or you know what let me just keep it like this and when you edit anything in this script you will give it like a moment to compile inside uh, unity so it will work right now if i drag this script now let me show you something interesting guys if you select any game object in your uh, hierarchy as you can see we talked before about the hierarchy right guys so this is our hierarchy and this is the inspector right we talked about the inspector the inspector hold all the information that your game object have right right now we have a, uh, this transform we have this camera here we have this audio listener and you will notice with me in the bottom here we have this add component it means that we can add more information to our main camera 
In my case, I will go ahead and I will click this add component and what I want to add is a script. Now you can go and find this script using this stuff here but since we have this search here as you can see we have this search one here it means we can search for some things. In my case I will click test and it will show me we have this test result render callback and we have this test. This is the script we just created its name is test so I will give test to my main camera and uh, I will explain what I did here in this code. As you can see this is the void start. This void start is a method created by unity it will be called in the start of the game or in the start of the scene. As I said before in unity we don't say a game but we say scene. So here we have our scene is here this is our scene and the scene is this level one here this is our scene and when I start the game it means when I click on this play here the game will start and when the game starts we have this void start so it means that when the game starts this void start uh, method will be called and when it's called it will execute all the code that is inside of it and the code inside of it for now is this debug.log hello world what does it mean it means that i'm going to debug this uh, hello world it means i will be showing the uh, hello world in my uh, in my what let's find out where we are going to see this one here so if i click play i will give it just a moment and you will notice with me here in this console here i have hello world as you can see here it's hello world it's a unity engine log objects because we created this code here debug.log hello world it means our code is going to be shown up inside the console debug.log will show any message that you want inside this console why this is useful for you right and why we are going to need to do this well when you are creating a game and you want to test anything inside your game like you want to test the health bar you want to test the player uh, high when he jump or stuff like this and you want to see with your own eyes what is happening behind the scene right so this console here will show you any uh, debug that you want to see let's say in our case when i click it hello world it showed me this hello world here so Let's say, for example, I want to have this script. Uh, this script here is in my in my camera, right? So I will say hello world. I am okay. I am a camera, right? So let's do this here. Let's save it, and let me just stop this one here, and I will clear this area so we can have a new message and when we, I uh, click again you will see here I have this hello world I am a camera right so let's do the same for our cube here right so let's say that we want to give our cube here the script so let's go to our camera here for now I will do something really stupid I will remove this script from the camera and I will go to the cube and I will click here and I will add my test to the cube here and I will go here and I will change this from hello world I am a camera and to making it hello world I am a cube so just to show you how this work so I will create this, clear this area again and when I click uh, play you will notice here we have hello world I am a cube so this uh, method here this void start it doesn't matter where you are putting your script or where you are going to put this component we are going to refer everything as component here in unity okay guys so it doesn't matter where you are going to put your component as long as you write something inside this start it means that this code will execute in the start of your scene it means the moment you click play and here we have the update uh, method here this update of course as it says it is an update it means this start method here will work only once 
when you start the game it will execute anything inside of it and it will stop but the update method here it is an updated method it will always update every frame so if we do this if we copy this line here in uh, for example if we take this line from here and we put it here let's save this one and let's head back to unity i will uh, pause i forgot to pause this notice what will happen right now when i click play look what will happen in the console we have hello world i am a cube hello world i am a cube hello world i am a cube it's it keeps repeating itself it's writing it and again and again and again and again why because this is an update method the update method will be uh, updating this function this method every frame it means this code here will be executed every frame that's why we see that we have in our game it's still uh, giving us this hello world i am a cube as you can see we have right now <laughs> more than a lot a lot a lot of uh, hello world i am a cube so i will stop it right now <laughs> i don't want this to be uh, going crazy so as you can see this is really easy guys to understand we will explain everything guys later for now we are just testing and playing with uh, with this one right so let me just select this line here just like this let me delete it for now i will save this code empty i will close visual studio right now okay thank you thank you very much i will close everything for now and i will just go ahead and finish the episode here <laughs> So, so guys this this was really a quick episode just so we can install uh, visual studio and you can have fun with it uh, i'd like to show you how the process of installing visual studio work but i already have it installed in my uh, mac here i can just go ahead and disinstall it and install it again it will take a lot of time guys you will notice and you will understand when you will be installing visual studio so just go ahead uh, install Visual Studio in your Mac or in your PC. Just do the next next step and accept the term of condition. Create your own account if you want to with Microsoft. It's for free, guys. You will have to pay nothing, guys. Seriously, nothing. This is all for free. So just go ahead and install Visual Studio and do the trick. I. It's not a trick, of, co uh, of course. But you go to the external tool and you pick here visual studio and there you have visual studio set up for your coding and everything and of course we will have a lot of stuff going in the next episodes so stay put guys we are going to start doing really something cool here inside unity just step by step so subscribe if you're not subscribed yet like this video if you do like what we do of course and i hope to see you guys in the next episode love you so much